Namaste, welcome to Gita's Kitchen. Today we'll make a very special sweet for a special day and we are going to make a very healthy version of it. We are going to make carrot beetroot halwa. Let's see how to make it. So the first thing before you begin, take a bowl in which you are going to set the sweet and grease it with some ghee and keep it ready. So that in the last minute you can avoid rushing around looking for the bowl and all that. So this is done. Now we can. I will keep this aside for now. Here I have taken two large red carrots and two beetroots, peeled and chopped them. So first I am going to put it into my mixy jar. First we will grind the carrots along with uh, one cup of water. First I am only adding half a cup of water, make it into a paste, then add the remaining half cup. I made it into a paste, now I am adding the remaining half cup and we will blend it really fine. With a fine strainer, strain this out into a bowl. We need only this juice. This will keep it aside. Similarly, we will transfer the chopped beetroot also into the blender jar. Again, measure out same one cup of water. As usual, pour half, blend it finely, then again pour the remaining half. Now, into this carrot juice, now pour in this beetroot juice also. Now this juice itself, I am filtering it out a second time because some fine pulp might remain. We don't want that also. We want only the clear juice. Now we have the juice of both carrot and beetroot. To this I am adding half a cup of corn flour. Corn flour is readily available in all the stores, grocery stores. Just mix it well with a whisk so that there are no lumps. Now I am adding in about uh, one cup sugar. One sugar, one cup, say I have removed two tablespoons from it. Now mix everything very well. Now we can switch on the gas and continue cooking it over a low to medium heat. See I have been cooking it only on sim that is a very low flame. It is just about 10 minutes now. You can see how it has started thickening. Now at this stage we will add ghee little by little. So first I am adding 1 tablespoon of ghee. Again mix it very well till it thickens a little more. See now after another 5 minutes it has thickened more and you can see that glossy shiny surface it is getting. Now I am adding 1 more spoon of ghee. Again now keep on stirring it. You have to stir this continuously so that it doesn't form any lumps or doesn't uh, stick to the bottom and get burnt. Especially since I am not using a non-stick pan, this is just a heavy steel kadai which I bought at a local store. So there is no link which I can share with you for this. Now again I am adding one more spoon of ghee. It needs to cook more to come to the desired consistency, can you see? But don't stop stirring it, continue stirring it as it is cooking. Our last spoon of ghee.
see, look at the stage now, how it is leaving the sides of the pan. Now we can switch this off. Now, first we will sprinkle some chopped, uh, whatever dry fruits you have. Today I am using some chopped pista and chopped uh, kaju, that is uh, cashew nuts. Some we can sprinkle into the sweet itself. Also, a quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder for flavor. Now we we'll mix everything well together. Now just pour this into this bowl which we have kept ready. Now Our halwa has cooled well now and we are ready to unmold it. So I will just take a plate like this and invert it on the plate. There. Well, beautiful healthy halwa is ready. It looks very attractive with this lovely beetroot color and the pista green. Now we are ready to cut it into pieces. See, I have taken a small piece for a close-up view for you and just see the consistency. It should be like this and taste absolutely chewy, typical the Karachi Halwa or Bombay Halwa. This sweet holds a lot of childhood memories. I remember as children, we used to call it as jam sweet. Maybe the jam-like consistency and a little bit chewy quite different from the typical Indian sweets. And this was usually not made at home. Homemade sweets would be regular laddu, Mysore Pak, Barfi and so on. So this was a treat which we got only in the shop bought sweets. And usually in an assorted sweet box, these particular sweets would be in various attractive cover, colors, orange, green and so on. And each one wrapped in a separate paper by itself. This of course is known as Karachi Halwa or Bombay Halwa, different names and uh, as I said we call it as uh, jam sweet where but in those uh, store bought ones generally they add a little bit of food color. Here we have made to try to make it a healthier version by using only the natural colors of the healthy vegetables that is beetroot and carrot and those who have a sweet tooth definitely add one heaped cup of sugar. It will be really sweet for you. So before we close on this happy occasion, I just want to share a simple thought which comes to my mind. I will first share it in Hindi and then translate it in English for those of you who don't understand Hindi. Meethe halwe ke is plate mein aapko to kaju, pista, ye sab to dikhai deti hai. Lekin is mein jo cheez sachi mitas bar deti hai, wo shakkar, इसमें तो दिखाई नहीं देती वैसे ही अपने रोजाना की जिंदगी में आप सब तो दिखाई नहीं देते लेकिन जो प्यार और अपनापन आप लोग जो हमारे ऊपर भरस देते हैं वो तो हमको बहुत ही आनंदित कर देती है एंड वी आर वेरी वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू यू फॉर दैट ए सिंपल ट्रांसलेशन इन दिस प्लेट ऑफ हलवा you can visibly see the kaju that is the cashew pista but when you bite into this it is deliciously sweet but we cannot see the sugar which imparts the sweetness to this halwa so also in our everyday lives uh, we know hundreds and thousands of you who are our well-wishers viewers subscribers we may not have seen you in person uh, we may not know you as such, but that particular bond between the subscribers and we as Geeta's Kitchen team, both uncle and myself, 
really really are very very happy with this beautiful bond and the lovely affection all of you share with us and uh, we are grateful for this huge growing uh, Geeta's Kitchen YouTube family and uh, we wish that this grow stronger and stronger wish you all the very best in your lives thank you for watching the video please subscribe to Geeta's Kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting episode from Geeta's Kitchen thank you